Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on the latest stories. We start with left back Alejandro Bade as Barcelona are concerned by the La Masia Young Stars recent performances. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Gavi, as Barca will not sign a midfielder to replace the injured star and they will rely more on 20-year-old home ground talents. Who is that talent? We are going to be discussing more on that as well. So as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. It has been a top seat of his start to the season for FC Barcelona after a summer that brought hope and expectations galore. Having won the La Liga crown last season, the Catalans went on the offensive in the summer to try and reinforce the side as much as possible to complement the core pieces of the long-term project. One of those pieces was left-back Alejandro Bade, when um, enjoyed a stellar breakthrough season in 2022-23 and was one of the cornerstones of a rock-solid backline that was arguably the biggest reason behind the Black Runners' two titles. However, since the beginning of this new campaign, things have been shaky to say the least. Balde, among many others, seems to have a dip in form and does not look to be quite at the same level he was last season. And recent reports from BTV Sport suggest that this has not gone unnoticed by the club. So the question can be, is it a complacency setting in? On multiple occasions last season, it was proven that Bade is just the kind of profile Barcelona need at left back. His exceptional pace, dribbling ability and sheer confidence to burst past his man and also make recoveries on the defensive end proved to be a huge asset for the Catalans. After initially proving that he was rough around the edges in terms of his final third deliveries and general decision making, he also looked to be steadily improving on his last season. But this campaign, Bade seems to have regressed again in that department, and even defensively, he has been caught out of position far too many times, but has seemingly not put in enough effort to get back. He has not quite taken on his man enough. Why pushing forward and Barcelona are seemingly keeping a close eye on this. There is no doubt that he is a special player and about the fact that someone like Marcos Alonso, despite his occasional threat on the ball, is not the right choice of personnel for this team. The lack of serious competition and the fact that he recently signed a five-year deal at Barcelona could mean complacency has set in. But the club also believed that Balde's known call-up to Spain side this time around could serve as motivation. They may also look to utilize Joao Cancelo at left-back, given his pedigree in that role, to try and push Balde to rediscover the tremendous level he is capable of. Of course, it's quite concerning seeing that majority of our players have, have been out of form and the whole team is not playing well generally. Bade, for instance, has been really, really down and many fans have been talking about the fact that Bade needs to improve. And now, as I said, is it a question of maybe the competition in that position is not strong and Bade thinks he has, he has taken all of that position and nobody can take it away from him? I don't think it's, it does the case. By the way, if, if that's the case, then Xavi and his coaching staff should make him know that players are there that they can play that role. If he keep messing up this way, we have Cancelo. He's, he can play left back. He's versatile. We have Alonso, even though Alonso has not been good since arriving Barca. But Bade should improve because he was not even called up for the Spain national team. And that should serve as a lesson. 
Barry was been, has been called before, but this time he was not called. Luis La Fuente, the manager of Spain himself, you know, even noticed it, that Barry has not been that level. And he, of course, if he's not called, it means that the manager of Spain does not see him very important to the team to help the team win matches. And that's a big blow. Barre, at this age, needed to be called up quite regularly. It's not like he should be called up this time and the next time he will not be called up. Which means he is not consistent. We need him to be. We need him to be. And of course, Barre last season was fire. You know, it shocked many people because not when the season started, people still thought Jody Alba was the one to, to own that position throughout the season. But Javi Hernandez boldly take that step to introduce Barry and oh boy, he did so well to make that position his own, benching both veterans um, Alba and uh, Marcos Alonso is quite is quite great for to see such. But this season things have really turned around. Barry has not been doing the same like he did last season. He really helped Plaza, of course, in our road to the La Liga triumph. But this time he needs to improve. Then on to the next story of discussion. Ever since it was confirmed that Gavi had wrapped up his ACL two nights ago, reports of Barca planning to sign new midfielder to cope with his absence have been doing the rounds. After all, Gavi will not play again for the rest of the season and his absence will be a huge blow for Xavi, Hernandez and Co. It was even suggested that the Black Runner could prioritize the signing of a new interior midfielder over the incorporation of Vitor Roque during the January transfer window. But contrary to what has been reported, Marcus Luis Efrojo is claiming that Barca do not have any plans to go after a new midfielder during the winter window. It is true that La Liga allows the signing of a player with 80% of Gavi's salary without it, counting for this season. However, it would count for next season and that creates a problem because there are other priorities before another midfielder such as the arrival of Vitor Roja, the signing of a pivot or the continuity of Joao Felix and Joao Cancelo. At the moment, there is no money to sign players and within the club, they consider that if they have to bring in a new face, Vitor Roja is the priority. So... On top of that, the report adds that Barcelona believe that they have enough strength in the squad to deal with Gavi's absence. For starters, the Catalan's coaching staff is delighted with the explosion of Femin Lopez and will rely on him more and more to cover for Gavi's absence in the remainder of the season. After all, the La Masia young star has made a spectacular leap in the first months of this season and there is great confidence in him to continue progressing. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.